Hi guys, so the DUP are back playing political games once again. So as part of the Windsor framework, there is a concept called the Stormont Break, which I've talked about before. This is a mechanism where if a number of MLAs or members of the Northern Ireland Assembly are not happy with a piece of new EU legislation being applied in Northern Ireland, they can attempt to stop it. This is exactly what the DUP did on Tuesday. They pulled the Stormont Break. Now the ball is in the court of the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland. But I think the Tories aren't really interested in helping the DUP in what is likely a pre-election trick. So today here at Stormont, the Assembly for the first time has had the opportunity to vote against an EU law that, if applied, would create new regulatory barriers between Northern Ireland and Great Britain. This was one of our key tests as we set about making major changes that would protect Northern Ireland's ability to trade within the United Kingdom and its internal market. This is a good day for our local democracy because your representatives have had a say and they've been able to stop a law applying which would harm Northern Ireland. And the unionists in here, including those who said we hadn't delivered change, were able to vote for that change. Uh, this is the DUP delivering for Northern Ireland, protecting Northern Ireland's place within the United Kingdom and its internal market. OK, so remember, the DUP wouldn't go into Stormont because they believed that uh, the Northern Ireland Protocol had to go, the Windsor Framework had to go, and then they finally bit the bullet and went, OK, yeah, we'll get back into the Assembly. But part of the um, motivation to get them back into the Assembly was this idea of the Stormont Break. Well, if there's enough, something like 30 MLAs, 30 members of the Northern Ireland Assembly, if they're not happy with some new EU legislation, they can pull this break. Um, the, the title here is a little bit misleading because it's not the Assembly that rejected EU regulations, it's the DUP. Now, when I said this is a political trick or some sort of political shenanigans, there's an election coming and the DUP are deeply concerned about the extreme wing of unionism, that being the TUV, stealing votes from them. And we saw last week how Reform UK and the TUV signed a sort of pact where they would help each other out, it seems. We don't know the full details of that. We'll have to wait some more time. But it seems that perhaps there's money coming from GB to help the TUV drive the DUP further to the right or drive them, I don't know where, um, to protest more against the Northern Ireland Protocol or the Windsor Framework. Now, when it comes to the storm and break, um, yes, MLAs can pull the break. And then what happens? Well, then it goes to the Northern Ireland Secretary of State. And then the Secretary of State decides if this is valid or not. If they believe it's valid, then it goes, then what happens is the joint committees reconvene. So this is the British government and the European Commission. And then they discuss what to, the way forward. But I don't actually think it's going to get that far because the DUP, not that I've seen, have brought they haven't brought anything forward to legitimize the 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 use of the pre of the break. They have started the process, but I don't think the Secretary of State is going to uh, play ball here because they're going to look at this and say there's no there's no real grounds for us to stop this legislation going through. And remember. In an election year, the, the the Tories don't want the problem of Northern Ireland coming back. And they're not going to risk a trade war with the European Union over this legislation. So I imagine it's going to sit on the desk of the Secretary of State for the foreseeable future. But it's also useful for the DUP because then they can offload responsibility onto the Secretary of State. They can say, well, it's the British government that has to deal with this now. It's not our fault. We're, you know, we're standing up for the unionists in Northern Ireland. Um, it, now it's the it's the job of the, the British government to play ball. And I think it's going to end there. There's no, think about it from the British government's point of view. They don't want to get involved in something like this just before an election. So it will sit and rot on that table. Um, I don't see it going forward. And for the DUP side, they can somewhat diminish the threat of the, the TUV by saying, see, we've actually pulled the brake, we've got back into the Assembly, we pulled the brake, we're stopping this legislation, and now it's the job of the, the British government to deal with it. So it sort of helps the DUP in a sense, um, but it doesn't really help the British government. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.